let's go over the basics of creating and managing a loan position on Folks Finance V2. First, go to app.folks.finance and connect your wallet in the center of the page. If you scroll down, you'll see which assets you can deposit, collateralize, and borrow. Before we get into that, we first have to create a loan. Click Create New Loan, name it, and select which type of loan you'd prefer. General loans allow multiple assets to be collateralized and borrowed. Efficiency loans limit the collateral and borrow to two assets, offering a higher loan-to-value ratio than in general mode. You can create multiple loans, all separate from each other. After selecting and naming, click Create Loan and sign with your wallet. Upon the transaction's completion, you can click Go to Loan to see the Manage screen. On the Manage screen, you can take similar actions to what you can do on the Dashboard page, just specific to this loan. From both pages, you can add collateral, reduce collateral, borrow, and repay. Let's add collateral from the Dashboard page. Click Collateralize on the asset you choose, select the loan, input the amount of collateral, and click Collateralize. Then, sign with your wallet. If you already have assets deposited, you can move them to collateral directly on the dashboard by clicking Move to Collateral and following the same steps. You can also swap and collateralize in one transaction. Here, we're swapping Algo to GoBTC and adding it straight into the loan. If you want to change your collateral, you can easily swap it by clicking Swap while managing your loan. Select which asset you'd like to swap into and input the amount. Click Swap Collateral and sign with your wallet. We can borrow assets now that we've added some collateral. First, click Borrow on the Dashboard or Manage page. Input the amount of the asset you'd like to borrow and choose if you want to have a variable or stable interest rate. Variable rates change based on market dynamics and stable rates remain the same. See our docs for more information. Once you've made your choice, click Borrow and sign with your wallet. When you have an active borrow, you can only reduce your collateral to the point where your liquidation margin would be 10%. Here, the maximum amount of algo collateral was removed. With the liquidation margin at 10%, you're no longer able to withdraw collateral, nor can you borrow more. To bring your liquidation margin higher, you'll either have to repay some borrowed assets or add collateral. What we'll do is swap some algo into Gialgo and add it in. Here, you can see you have the ability to borrow multiple assets in the same loan. We'll borrow some algo alongside our USDC, and we'll do that with a stable interest rate. You can change the interest rate type directly on the Manage screen as well. Now, let's close the position. First, repay your borrowed assets by clicking Repay and using the pop-up modal. One new feature of Folks V2 is the ability to repay your loan with any asset through swaps. Simply select Use Another Asset when repaying. You can then select the asset you'd like to swap into your borrow. The swap and repayment will happen in one transaction thanks to V2's composability. Here, we're using Gialgo to repay the USDC loan. After repaying your loans, reduce all your collateral to zero to close the position. With Folks V2, your assets are under your command. Hopefully, this video has helped you on your journey to become a master of DeFi.